Kamyanets Podilsky is one of the oldest cities in Ukraine. The city is very popular with tourists. After all, the great cultural heritage of the past centuries is collected here. The old town has a special atmosphere of the Middle Ages. Wide streets lined with paving blocks are harmoniously combined with various architectural masterpieces. For this reason, we will continue our fascinating journey through this video. You'll not only see informative excursions, but also active adventures. So, enjoy the episode. Hello guys, hello mom, hello dad. Hey guys. <laughs> Here we are, we are in the same city. Its name is... Kamanyet Podilski. Yeah, and uh, we are in front of a Roman Catholic church. Its name is... Uh... Peter, Peter and, and Paul, Paul. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like really old. So let's go and check how it looks like inside. Join yeah. us. Yeah, come on. Actually, we are in the city, but in front of the church, you can feel you have a sense that you are in Prague, you know? That uh, part of the church is quite uh, gothic, yeah. right? It's Don't really you feel it's, so? Exactly, I, I totally agree. It reminds me of Prague a lot. Yeah. And if you see the statues on the floor, on the roof, sorry, the style, it's quite more gothic, you know? Roman Catholic churches didn't use to have that kind of uh, angry faces and, uh, you know, statues. But what do they look like? Yeah, they look friendly. <laughs> <laughs> not so friendly, but yeah, we're still in that city, not in Prague, keep in mind that. So let's go inside. Yeah, let's go inside. Architecture is quite good. Yeah, exactly. They're making that stuff in the world. But... Well, uh, it's really unusual to find uh, that kind of uh, roof in Roman Catholic churches. I mean, that it's full of arches. So, yeah, it has a different architecture compared to all the churches that we've been, right? Yeah, it's true. I, for me, it's something that um, I've seen in churches back home. Yes. But and the statues are quite dark, can you see? Mm -hmm. They look more dark than usual. Mm. Look at the black one there. Yeah. And up here is actually a Swedish flag. Oh. I do wonder why. Why that? And it says an M on it. it see does. if we can uh, find out. Sure thing. Really nice church and really nice vitro colors. Can you see there on the windows back? There, can you yeah, see? Yeah, all the... What? We have to say that all these days in Ukraine, whenever church we visit, um, every church that we visit, we see that the wedding ceremony takes place. Yeah, it's true. That's really it's strange. A lot, of a lot of weddings. I mean, that, okay, uh, locals used to get married earlier compared to Athens, but I come from more maybe to your city, right? Yeah, because yeah. Because they're too young, they're quite. 22, 23, it something like that. It was a tradition a long yeah. time ago in Sweden, for example, that in, you were married. Enough in the scene. And, uh, but we've been told that uh, in villages, people used to get married earlier and make huge wedding ceremonies compared to Kiev, that they're getting older, they, they got married older, they get married older, mm, and they don't really celebrate in that huge way. They prefer to go to spend their, their, that money on... Um, uh, a trip or an excursion yeah, or yeah, course, tropical islands, you know, to visit them. So I think it works like uh, my city too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. What's your plans? Are you going to get married? <laughs> what a deep question. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Finger crossed. Who knows? Or Maybe next trip we're gonna oh, both of us got married and be like, ah, la, 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 la. here is her ring. You know? It's not a main goal, but. Yeah, sure. For me, mm, I don't know. Maybe yes, I think. So, mom, dad, prepare yourself. <laughs> I'm joking. I can get engaged, <laughs> but not married. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. And yes. because we are very, we have to be more silent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm that's my soul. Respect. Do you hear us now? <gasps> let's go. Yes, bye. The Cathedral of the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul is the most impressive, iconic, and attractive sites of the city. The interior of the cathedral is of special value. Original stained glass windows, wooden altar, and frescoes created by the genius of Giovanni Sampini, who painted the walls of the church with copies of pictures by popular Italian artists, it all remains here. The uniqueness of the Peter and Paul Cathedral complex is not only in the original interweaving of various architectural styles, but also in the paradoxical combination of elements of two religious cultures, Christian and Muslim. really silent because we're in a church. I hope it works here. <laughs> and here we can see the, moment, the memorial uh, statue uh, of Elizabeth. She was a really young girl who, who died. And that's her mother and her father. This is Queen Elizabeth. Uh, when all these people used to be on the land of, uh, that we are here now, uh, there was their queen and king but their daughter died really young and really clean. That's why we can see the angel. She was a really peaceful girl. So it's really popular to see monuments, uh, memorable uh, monuments, something like that, about that uh, young girl, Laura. So do you want to continue? Yeah, uh, what I found really interesting about this church is that it has uh, changed several times. So it was from between Baroque and Renaissance. So at the moment, it's a Renaissance um, structure of the church, uh, but you can still see outside uh, that it has remained from the Baroque time. And that's pretty interesting that it's been mm. so switching during yeah, the yeah, centuries. Yeah. And it's still an impressive church in its own way, you know yeah, what I mean? It's, very it's not a decor too, too loud, you know? It's quite clean. Can you mm. see they all are white? Yeah. And only a few pictures. And look there, it's more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, so this church was um, in somehow connected to uh, Johannes Paulus II, the Pope. So that's why his coat of arms oh. is up there. So that's so. a symbol of that. Yes. It's not a Swedish symbol? No, it has nothing to do with Sweden, I think. Okay. More his coat of arms. Oh, great. How, why it looks like that, I don't know. But, yes. But it looks it. like that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> great. It was a nice visit to this church. So, let's explore more about that city. Yes, let's see more. Body. And he hands, come on, he does this <laughs> because he puts it a little bit uh, downer, my swimming costume. He was like, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes you can, because he was in front of me, like I was like that, and he, he dig, his dig was here, and he was doing that, and he's like, let me touch it now. Sometimes you just need this kind of, you know. Like, oh, chill, uh, you know, like, shh. And like, like there's some closeness with another person. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could listen to his, uh, his uh, brief. It was so sick. Yeah, yeah, it's more like an experience, you know. Woof. 
Well, our friends told us that there, there's an arc here, that there's a place here, there's a cross. You put your left hand and make a whiz, and actually it works. So, do you want to try it? Yes, of course, why not? Okay, so close your eyes, left hand, make a whiz. Done. Done, my time, so please camera closed. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot. <laughs> Kamienets Podilski Fortress is one of the most beautiful architectural monuments in Ukraine. This fortress is often called a museum city under the open sky. Kamienets Podilski Fortress dates to the 14th century, according to some sources, and according to others, second to third centuries AD. The fortress has been an intimidating stronghold and has only been captured twice. Each tower dungeon and wall have a unique past and story to tell. Nowadays, the fortification is part of the National Historical Architectural Sanctuary. It's located on the Smotrych River in western Ukraine, northeast from Chernivtsi. Since the late 1990s, Kamienets Podilski has grown into one of the biggest tourist centers in western Ukraine. The main feature of the castle is a unique combination of landscape and history. In the castle, tourists have the opportunity to shoot from the bow, try the local kitchen and chefs, and take part in medieval games. Government Hall of uh... um, Magdeburg Hall. Yes, <laughs> but this is actually the city city hall. It's a city hall, but I'm quite but confused it's... because at the same time it's a city hall nowadays. That different mm. uh, events took place, like meetings, um, etc., presentations, etc., etc., etc. But it used to be the government place from, for the city from 15th to 18th century. Mm. But nowadays it's like a museum for... Like the bird law, yes. Yeah. You're right. So in case you want to learn more about that law... You can come here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take a look. Maybe we could sit here and think how... Ah. I think we look quite silly. You think? I feel more like home. I think I'm not. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll be in that chair then. <gasps> At your home? <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks quite historic city, uh, quite uh, an historic place. And in the roof, we have all like the. Um, the Brothers with uh, Cities. Yeah. It's a new. Uh, how can you say that? Uh, a new thing well, uh, from early 90s. That city and uh, different cities throughout Europe mm -hmm. have started a, a bond like a brotherhood, right? Yeah, a bond. Yeah, and they have a, as a similar educational experience. You know, uh, mm, they can have like some kind of exchange to yeah. each other. And there's so many cities there. You can see the landmarks of them. Mm -hmm. They have even China. Yeah, they have China. And we have Harry, yeah. 
have it in Germany, it's like a small city in Sweden. I, I really? thought it was really fun to see <laughs> that it's actually here. A uh, visual? Yes. Oh, that's the reason you started behind me. Right? <laughs> yeah, like, ah, it's actually here. It's like... Whereas it's Greek cities, none of the Greek cities are here. It will come, maybe. Oh, who knows? Yes, why not? <laughs> <laughs> we have to bond. We have to make yeah, an exchange. Yeah, we'll have to bond and, and make exchanges. Yes, right. I have to accept that I look really small uh, on that chair and it's not really comfortable, so don't take it back home. Sure thing. Secondly, uh, as you can see uh, on the top of my chair, you can see the sun uh, with a face, uh, a man's face uh, in the middle. So that symbol, it uh, came from 15th century. Yeah, it was first introduced yeah. at that yeah. time. Uh, for the city, but actually you can find it everywhere, in coins, uh, houses, uh, uh, everywhere, everywhere is, is a symbol of the city. But actually the citizen don't know where it comes from, what I mean is that... It's origin, yeah. why, why the symbol, they use the yeah, symbol. Yeah, why that? But yeah, they have it and uh, uh, as a friend told us, uh, three only cities uh, throughout the world has this specific symbol uh, as a symbol. The sun as a symbol. It's Uzbekistan and um... uh, it was Uruguay or Paraguay. Yeah, I think. and that city. Yes, and, uh, and this is actually how it looks today. Yeah, I mean this is the, the coat of arms yeah. for for the city Kamenet Polisky. And, uh, and before before it has looked differently because it's uh, has had been under Polish rule and so it had other colors. But this is the correct one, the blue one. at the moment. Great. Yeah, so I think so it's time we're done. It's time for us to grab, grab a coffee. coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and it's enough with all that city government stuff. I'm tired. You know? I like the shares. I must say that. I feel like a bit powerful, but I wanted to sit in this one. But anyways, let's go. <laughs> See you. Uh, I'm really scared of that, but they told me it's gonna be safe. Oh. Ah, it has to be so tight, right? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Stop laughing at me, okay? Goodbye. I don't want to look at it, so just do it what you have to. What what? No, I, I, I don't want to English. look. Yeah, no English, right? That's good. Okay. <laughs> what do you speak? Should I hold from here? Uh, oh, not hands, here. Hands, oh, hands. Hands here. And sit down. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, go. Yeah, I'm done. Up. What did you feel, there, guys? I don't feel really good now. <laughs> I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't even scream. You know, I was like, "What's going here?" Whew. I just need a cigarette now <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> Yeah. 
faster to be honest uh, but it was a nice view maybe a bit too cold for me <laughs> but I liked it I enjoyed it a lot after these two exciting days we can say that Kamienic Podilski is famous for castles towers and bridges Sights in the city you don't want to allow travelers to miss. There's always something to see, to learn, to think about, and to do. Kamienic Podilski is a wonderful place to visit. On the one hand, it's modern, but on the other, it flows from old times and in mystery. Interesting architectural and historical monuments, picturesque landscapes open to visitors of the region, a new previously unexplored Western Ukraine. Like the rest of the previous cities we visited in Ukraine, it is well worth the visit. I will explain you. Okay. We stole that uh, cape. So yeah. run, run with us. <laughs> Well, we can say something about that. Well, it was a really uh, bad situation because we have been told that it's... Uh, What's happening? What's ha <laughs> it was a really bad situation because We've been told uh, to make a tour uh, to find which places and etc. But actually, the guide was just talking only in Ukraine, and we didn't understand anything. So what we did, we were about to have a relaxing time. We <laughs> still got capes. Maybe it looks funny on Halloween. In Halloween? Yeah. Or just. <laughs> 